Smith's mother, Duncan Armstrong. Well done. McVeigh's a good finisher, and he does it again. This has been a remarkable opening term. You know, personally, my form, I thought, was really consistent throughout the year, and, you know, Changed a few different positions, which was good to learn some different roles. But obviously, um, you know, the way the team finished up at the end was, um, you know, we'd probably call the season a failure because we really wanted to get to that last day and try and replicate what we did uh, the year before. But, you know, it wasn't to be. We weren't good enough, so we'll have to have another go next year. Space, Jack, and now McVeigh. Has he got enough leverage? Oh, has he got enough leverage? What an outstanding player he is. I think the young kids that, um, you know, come into the group, we had a lot of injuries this year to, to key players, but those young players really stood up and, and become really good players for the footy club. So I think our depth next year is going to be really good with a few guys retiring and, and obviously a few guys leaving. We, uh, we're going to have that depth there, which is really good. You know, Rampy uh, come through really well and, you know, Brandon Jack played some good footy this year, so, you know, signs are good for the future. Who would you say was the biggest improver this year? Oh, someone like Jesse White, who had a really good back end of the year, and, um, you know, probably Rampy and Pikey, I thought, improved. Um, Parker, so there's a number of guys that, uh, you know, took their games to another level, and, um, you know, we expect that again next year, and hopefully they can, you know, really be consistent AFL players. Looking at your own form, you obviously had a great season and you were named All-Australian. How did you feel to get that on for the first time? Yeah, look, I was, um, you know, wrapped, um, you know, very humbled, uh, you know, to be, to, be, to be named in that team and, you know, something I look back on at the end of the career and be proud of and, um, you know, that week was probably more about the, you know, the prelim final and, you know, organize, you know getting ready for that. But, uh, yeah, look, I'm very proud of that and, um, you know, without your teammates, you wouldn't be able to get those awards. You mentioned the different positions you played before. You started the season sort of in more of an attacking role and you were actually leading the goal kicking at one point yeah. and then you finished in defence. How did you feel about that change? Yeah, look, it was good. It was, um, you know, I knew it had to be done uh, with Shaw and, and, and AJ going down and, um, you know, just to play a different role there. I was enjoying my time in the midfield early on in the year and then changed a little bit, then got back in the midfield late. So, um, you know, you have to adapt every year and every game and you know, I think I did that quite well. What are some of the things, personally and as a team, you hope to see improvements in in 2014? I think the way um, you know we move the ball, um, you know, has to improve. Um, you know, we got caught, you know, doing the same things a lot of the time, and you know, saw in the second half against Fremantle, we did do the things we needed to do, and you know, we did play some good footy. So we've got to, we, you know, we have to do that stuff consistently, and just those young players coming through, and the leaders have to step up again, and, and the young players and the middle tier groups of guys, we want them to, you know, keep improving to be, um, you know, to be competitive and a well-earned break coming up. What are your plans over the off-season? Yeah, can't wait. I'm um, actually going to Bali tomorrow and then I'll be heading to New Zealand and then to Hawaii. So a few trips booked and um, you know, I can't wait to get away.